Hey there, welcome to another Hidden Gems. I'm Jordy, and on behalf of WCR and The Window Cleanse, which is my channel on YouTube, I want to welcome you very warmly to another episode. And if you have been enjoying and benefiting, mostly is what's important, from the series and from what we've been talking about, then please subscribe to both channels. I can tell you this, both channels are committed to helping you in your business. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell if you are finding benefit in what you're hearing. Today we're going to be talking about uh, squeegee rubber. And we've been talking about a number of different basic parts of the squeegee, the handle, the channels, uh, the pole itself, the scrubber, the sleeves. But now we're going to talk about the rubber. And there's three in particular that I think are hidden gems. Number one is the wagtail. I've been using this um, out of the three. So we, what we have is the wagtail rubber. We have what's called the professional squeegee rubber. And then we also have the Pulex rubber. Uh, the two black rubbers are hard. And this one too is kind of a medium one, uh, probably on the softer side. But the, the thing I love about the wagtail is that it just is very durable. So we're talking about quality and we're talking about performance. So you're not gonna find that you're gonna get lines with this on your turns with the wagtail. And I've been using this for, let's see, I started using the wagtail four years ago. So I've been using this rubber for four years. It's a little bit more costly, okay? Keep that in mind, but it lasts, it really does. And uh, so you can see the price, you can see that it comes in a three meter or nine foot roll. And so you'll, you will have to cut it yourself. But people talk a lot about wagtail stuff. They talk about the high flyer, they talk about the combi, uh, they talk about the wave and some of the other tools. But they don't talk a lot about the rubber. And this is a hidden gem in my opinion. Moving on, we have uh, two rubbers that I've been testing out. This is the Professional Squeegee Rubber. You can go to professionalsqueegee.com. Uh, the link will be below. Apparently, now I don't know if this is just for their website, but they display their rubbers in different colors. Yellow, orange, blue, red, black. I, I was not able to find where exactly you can purchase the different colors, because that would be really cool. I mean, that, that, would, that would make this even more of a hidden gem. But this too has just been performing very well with the accelerator and with the hand tools. Uh, this is a hidden gem. Cost-wise, it's gonna be, I think, probably a little more expensive. Uh, I, think, I think, well, I think Mormon is your cheapest. I think then Black Diamond is the next uh, cheapest. And then Pulex is there. I think this is after Pulex. So you can compare them to some of the other um, rubbers that are in the same you know price class but so far these have been lasting I haven't gotten any nicks um, I haven't gotten any nicks in them leaving lines so that's a huge plus <clears throat> and then finally I've been testing this one out even longer uh, the Pulex and this is hard now the thing about the Pulex the width is just a tiny bit m wider than most other rubbers. Yeah, it's just about a millimeter. It's about a millimeter uh, wider than most other rubbers. Most other rubbers are the same size, same width. This too has been performing very well, and I've been using it in a number of different channels. In fact, I've used it in the the Legend. I've used it in the Ninja. I've used it in the Super Channel. I've used it in the Alamax. I've used it in the Stutzy, and I've used it in the Technolite, I've used it in the S Plus channel, um, and it's performed well in all of them. So I don't hear a lot of people talking about the Pulex rubber. I know there's some of you uh, out there that do like it, but as far as the Pulex brand in general, I've never really heard a whole lot about it, and I've found that the whole brand, the whole line of products, especially your squeegees and your rubber, are really good. 
another note about squeegee rubber now I searched high and low on the on the internet to try to find exactly what the ingredients are and the process for each brand of squeegee rubber and I really wanted to bring that to you but uh, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find it. It's like it's all. I, it, Edray even says on its website that it's a guarded secret, their formula. So, you know, I really wanted to be able to tell you exactly why one squeegee is better than another uh, rubber, or why one lasts longer than another, or why one performs better than another. But I just couldn't find the information. What I will say is that Pulex at least had a page where I think it listed 10 things uh, that went into the process of making its rubber. So that was pretty good. I think uh, Professional Squeegee also had a little bit of information on their website. Unger had a little bit of gen general information on their website. So that is the hidden gems for today. We're talking about rubbers, and in conclusion, in summary, we have the Wagtail, we have the Pulex Hard, and we have the Professional Squeegee Hard. These, in my opinion, are all hidden gems. Uh, these two, because of uh, price, performance, quality, and this one, because of performance and quality. And there are three rubbers that you don't hear a lot about. So I thank you for your attention today and for tuning in. And again, uh, be sure to check out the window cleanse and check out some of the other videos on window cleaning resource here because there's a lot of uh, old, if you want to talk about hidden gems, there's a lot of old, older videos that really have a wealth of knowledge in them, especially uh, some of the ones that feature Chris Lambertini's in it. They really can help you in your business and in your marketing. So uh, check it out and we will catch you on the next episode which uh, we're running out of episodes here. We're about to wrap up this series, so we may just be looking at a grand finale for the next one. But stay tuned, and uh, we will be in touch. You have a great day in your business.